here is our cookie cutter, an outline of an ice cream cone. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up Autodesk Fusion 360. I already saved this as four inch ice cream cookie cutter. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to insert, insert a canvas, go to insert from computer. Here's my ice cream uh, picture. Hit open, we wanna put it on our X, Y axis. So if you are looking at this image right here, we want it on the green and red plane. So I click on that. We are going to make this a little bit bigger. Hit enter, click on top, zoom in to our image. We're gonna go over here. Here's our image right here, ice cream. I'm gonna right click, hit calibrate. We're gonna to go to the very top and the very bottom of our image or whatever way is wider, whether it's top or bottom or left to right. And then we're gonna hit four I N for four inches, hit enter. Now we have the proper size. This is four inches. So the next step we wanna do is we are going to go to new sketch. So we're gonna create sketch, click on the plane, which is this plane and hit on our fine point spline tool. We're gonna to start at the very top, right on the screen line, and we're gonna follow along our image. Once we hit any corners or edges like that, we're gonna hit check, and then we continue again. And the reason why we do that, which you will see in a second, is if I don't hit that, if I try to go down like that, Obviously, that's not working. That's not the shape we're trying to do. If I go like that, it creates this weird, you know, I'll just show you really quick. We'll zoom in. It creates, that's not the image we want to go for. So instead, what we want to do is once we hit enter, then we could redo it and it keeps this how we want it. So continue going down. Till we reach this point right here. Now there's two things we could do. Once we hit that, because we have a symmetrical object or a symmetrical picture, we could mirror our image just to save time. And to do that, it's very simple. All you have to do is hit L for line Create a line right, going right down the middle, like that. Okay, hit OK. Go over here to midpoint. Select our line. So our line's our midpoint. Then you go over here to mirror. And you want to highlight all of the picture that we already have. Make sure the line isn't selected, okay? If the line is selected like that, just click on it to deselect it. But once you have all the other points selected, we get it mirror line, and now we select the line. As you see, it just created a mirror of the object. If we hit enter, hit that, hit the line, hit backspace. There we go, now we have our ice cream, but if you see at the very bottom and top, these dots are white, the rest are black. So we wanna make these black, so all we have to do is just kind of connect them like that, now it's black. Make sure you don't alter the picture. Picture still looks good, still looks symmetrical. So we'll go to the very top now, do the same thing. And all you have to do is just hover over the line and then just move it and then put it right back in place and it just kind of sticks. There we go, now we have a solid image. If you're not having a symmetrical object, then that's okay. All you have to do is continue to follow along um, the entire outline until you reach the very top and it all connects. So once we have that, what we are going to do is we don't need the picture anymore. So we're gonna hide the picture and here's our object, here's our outline. What I like to do because this is a four inch one and in case if I wanna make more ice cream cones but two inches or three inches or five inches, I will actually go to the sketch, right click, hit save as DXF file. And then I'll save this to my desktop. I'll just save it as ice cream cone.
cone and then hit save. The reason why is because if I open up a new project and if I want to open this file that I had, there we go. We have it in a brand new one and what we could do is we can modify it and scale it. So I could scale this to say 0.5 if I want it to be 2 inches, 0.75 if I want it to be 3 inches, and 1.25 if I want it to be 5 inches. So then I don't have to retrace an entire new one and recalibrate. I just already have it. And this could be my 5 inch uh, ice cream cookie cutter. So let me just delete that, get rid of that. But back to this. What we now want to do is we want to offset our image. So to do that, we're going to hit O on the keyboard, go over our outline so it's completely selected, and it says one millimeter. We want that. We want to make sure the red line is on the outside of the blue line. If it's not, all you have to do is type in negative one instead of positive one. So if you see I type in negative one, it's now on the inside. If I do positive one, it's on the outside. So you need to make sure it's on the outside. We're going to hit enter. We're going to hit O for offset again. Hit on the inner line, not the outer line. We're going to hit on the inner one and do 0.5. So that's 0.5 millimeters. Hit O for offset one more time. Make sure it's on the inner line again if you have to zoom in to make sure. And we want to make this 6 millimeters and hit enter. So here is our outline, and this is pretty much all we need for the cookie cutter. If we zoom in, we click on this, we want to extrude this. To do that, you go to solid, right here for extrude, and make this 4 millimeters, so hit 4. I just put 4 in down there, hit enter. Now we have an outline of cookie cutter. If we go to here, you can see, but we're not done. Because what we need, we need to bring back the sketch. So we're going to go over here, bring the sketch back, right? Because as soon as you do extrude, it kind of hides the sketch. You want to make it visible again. And on the inner one, go to extrude and type in 15. Enter. And then go to the very inner one, hit extrude, type in 16, and hit enter. Now if we zoom out, that's starting to look like a cookie cutter. So you can see we have the handle, we have the wall, and then we also have the blade. Now the blade, I make it half a millimeter because that's what works for my 3D printer. Maybe you can make it smaller if you have a finer nozzle and you can make it 0.4 millimeters or even 0.3 millimeters. But what works for me is 0.5 millimeters for most of my cuts. If I have more intricate stuff, I might have to make the blade bigger, but that's just going to have to be you testing it out and seeing what works for you. So we could be finished here, but I like to add a few more things to make it a little bit more professional. I'm going to click on the entire side, this four millimeter side. I'm holding down shift while I'm selecting them. So I could select more than one surface. I'm going to go around the cookie cutter and select all of them. Once I've selected all of them, I'm going to let go of shift. Go over to fill it, click on this. I'm going to type in 1.99. And I'll create this nice little edge, this nice curved edge. Still not done. Now I'm going to go to this inner, this corner, hold down shift, select all of them, flip it around so I could, I'm still holding down shift so I could select the rest. And now we're going to go back to fill it. We're going to do 1.99 again. And there we go. Now we have a nice wall or nice curve, as you can see. This nice curve going up like that makes it look a little bit more professional. Uh, for this part, if you have an intricate design, sometimes 0.11 won't work. You might only have to do 0.1 or if uh, you're coming into really small detail. You may not even be able to get this wall like this, uh, but it's just a matter of messing around with it to see what works.
But now that we have that, we're almost done. I like to label everything. So we're going to put text on this. To do that, we go over to create sketch. We're going to hit on our Z plane, which is the blue line. So this plane. And we will go up to create text. And here's our little arrow for our or crosshair for text. I'm going to put it right on the cone part. Hit that. I like four millimeters. So we're going to do four millimeters. Go over to text. Then we do ice cream cone. I like to bold it as well. So we're going to bold it. We could use this to reposition it. If you texted it out and it was 180 degrees like this, sometimes that will happen. All you have to do is just bring it back like that. And this is where I want it. I want it positioned like this. You want to make sure it's not too close to our lip. You don't want it too close to up here. You don't want it too close to any of the edges because that could screw up your print. So you want it where there's plenty of space on all four sides. This looks pretty good. I'm going to hit enter. And obviously this does not put the text on the actual plane. So what we want to do is we want to select our text. We want to go to solid and hit extrude. We're going to extrude our text half a millimeter, 0.5. So now our text is extruded as you can see, but it's still not on a plane. So to make it on a plane, you see the arrow is pointing towards this plane. You want to make sure the arrow is pointing towards a plane. If it's not, right, if it looks something like this and the arrow is pointing the other way, you just negate it. You put in a negative, right? But for me, it's facing the right way, so I just need to do 0.5. You go up to here where it says start, and you hit from object. And then we hit this right here. You click on the actual surface, let it load, and there we go. I'm going to hit enter. And now we have the letters on the side of our cookie cutter saying ice cream cone. So once this is done, this is everything we need for our cookie cutter. We go to file. Well, we could save it first. Then we go to file, export. We will save it as four inch ice cream cone cookie cutter. That sounds good to me. We will save it as an object. And I will just save it to my desktop. Hit save. And then export. This may take a few minutes to actually export as it's converting it from the cloud. So in the meantime, what you can do is if you already don't have this slicer, this slicer works the best for me. It's called Cura. So this is what the slicer looks like, Cura. So make sure you download this software. If you have another slicer that you like, then use that. But what I'm using is Ultimate Cura. You can just click on it and it's completely free to use. I've had the most luck with it. Uh, for my Ender 3 3D printer. All right, so once we are done exporting it, what we could do is X out of this, minimize that, and go over to our saved object. So here's our four inch ice cream cookie cutter. Double click on that to open up Cura. And here it is. So we're going to zoom in. If you hold down shift and click your mouse, you could actually go up and down like this to pan it. We're going to zoom in. I'm going to make sure everything looks good. The settings I have are just the basic settings, which is standard 0.2 millimeters because I use the Ender 3. I have my 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Um, the temperature, I, I, I didn't change anything on here, and it works pretty well for me. I'm going to hit slice. So once it slices, it's going to take one hour and 29 minutes. We're going to hit preview. This is just to make sure everything looks okay, especially that blade. I'm going to make sure the blade 
looks perfectly fine, that there's no gaps in it. If there's gaps, it's because your 3D printer can't print out as thin of a line. So that's why I made this 0.5 millimeters. It's a little bit bigger than my nozzle, which is 0.4 millimeters. If it's too small, you're gonna have to go back and widen the blade. But because that looks all good, what we are gonna do is go to File, Export, I'm gonna save it as a G code or whatever your 3D printer reads. My 3D printer reads G codes. So I'm gonna click on that. And I want it saved to the desktop. So we're just gonna save it as four inch ice cream cookie cone, uh, cookie cutter. Hit save. And then that's it. Here is our G code, as you can see, I went into properties. This is our G code right here. This one was our object. So you put this into your uh, flash drive and you upload it to your 3D printer and print it out. And roughly one and a half hours later, here is our cookie cutter, an outline of an ice cream cone. As you can see on the side right there, our text came out pretty well saying ice cream cone. That is it. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, comment if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And last but not least, hit that subscribe button.